Hello and welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to be giving this computer a bit of a clean up. It's actually my father-in-law's PC. He's uh, using it just for a little bit of video editing, photo editing, that sort of thing. I think it's got an FX8350 in there and uh, a GTX 760. There's also a Firewire card in there because he's got a, an older camera which has got Firewire still. So he wants to keep that. Um, basically, he keeps this PC under his desk on a carpet and he tends to suck in a lot of the crap from under his desk. So I'm going to give it a good, good dust down. I'm also going to replace this power supply. I'm not, I'm not really happy with this. Um, I'd like to put something in there that's a little bit better. So I'm going for the Corsair uh, CX450M, which is a decent enough uh, semi-modular power supply. 450 watts will be enough for what he needs. Um, I think the system at, at, at the most draws about 300 watts. Uh, so that should be okay. It'll also help us sort out this cable management, which is absolutely terrible and whoever did that should be shot. I think these are actually cable extensions that are being used. Now this has got modular cables, semi-modular cables, but the cables for the CPU and the ATX are a decent length. So it should be able to reach that no problem at all. So the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the stock CPU cooler in there. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace it with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Now, uh, the cooler that's actually in there, looking at it, it is absolutely filthy. It's full of dust, full of gunk. Um, he's been having problems with the computer shutting down randomly. I've had a quick look. It, it is the temperatures getting too high and it's shutting down the, uh, the system. So I'm going to replace that cooler with something that's uh, a little bit better. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, to, to clean the dust out, I'm going to use an air duster. Never ever use a vacuum inside these. You can use a vacuum on, say, the dust filters and things like that, but never inside, never near any components because of uh, static building up with your vacuum. So always try and use uh, an air dust to blow it out, don't suck it out. Um, and uh, yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to get on with that now, and hopefully I'll have that done really, really quick. Now the problem that I've found with this case in particular is to replace the stock heatsink with the Hyper 212 Evo, you've got to actually change the back plate. Now if I turn the case around, you can see here, there's not enough clearance here in the motherboard tray cutout to actually get that back plate off. So I'm going to have to take the motherboard out to get that replaced, which I suppose it will make it a bit easier to actually clean the case out. But uh, but yeah, I'm, so I'm still going to do it. I'm not going to uh, not do that. I'm going to do it now. So uh, I'll get on with that then.
So there we go, it's looking a lot better inside now, got rid of a lot of that dust. One thing I did have a few problems with is the cable management for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the graphics card, the power connector is here at the front. Uh, usually you find them, you know, these days you'd find them at the back and then you'd feed the cables through and round the back and it would look quite neat. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to route it along the front there of the power supply in order to get that to fit in. Uh, there's no window going on the case, so it doesn't really matter. I just didn't want it to uh, interfere with the fan on the power supply. Again, got that facing up because uh, in the past it's been sat on a carpet. It is actually going on wooden floor now, um, but there's not a lot of room underneath here for airflow, so I've kept it facing upwards uh, for now into the case. Uh, if there's any problems with that, I might look at changing it, but I don't think there will be, to be quite honest. Uh, the second problem I had with the cabling is with the CPU power connector up here. Uh, basically what happened was I had to take the motherboard out to fit the Hyper 212 Evo and then I had to loosen it off again for that cable to come up and into the back of the case. Now the reason for that is uh, the back of the case there uh, at the top, there's no actual cutouts for the power connector to come through. So I've had to feed it up through the back of the motherboard and squeeze it in like that. Now that shouldn't be a problem, it shouldn't be uh, an issue. Um, so there you go. So yeah, I've fitted the uh, Hyper 212 Evo as well, which is giving some decent performance. It's idling at between 28 and 32 degrees. Uh, and under load, it was getting up to about 60. So not too bad with uh, an FX8320 in there. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that's come out. I would like to fit it into a new case at some point, but it's just the budget at the moment. And he wants to keep the optical drive. I don't know why, but there we go. So I've done some testing on startups as well because he was having trouble with it not starting up properly sometimes or it was shutting down very, very quickly and he had to restart it. Uh, and all those problems seem to have gone just simply by replacing the power supply and putting a decent cooler in there. Now what I did notice with the old cooler that came out, I've got, got it here actually, which is still in a bit of a state, is that the, the old thermal paste had gone really dry and cracked. So it's a good idea sometimes to actually take your cooler off, give it a clean, uh, put it back on. But in this case, I've actually put a new one in there for him. So yeah, there we go. There's only one place that's gonna go where it should go. So this is going back to its rightful owner now. I can get on with my day and you can get on with yours. I hope this video has helped you. If you're deciding you wanna clean up your PC, you wanna see how difficult it is. It is pretty easy really, if you're not doing too much work to it. I'll leave links to the power supply and the Hyper 212 Evo in the comments section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later. Thank you.